Hello YouTube. So sometime during my years at university, I made it my goal to earn a six figure income. I'm not exactly sure why, but it was just a number that sounded good and respectable. Since I was already an engineering major, I knew that it was only a matter of time until I hit that magical number. So I quickly did some math and with the average starting salary of about $70,000 a year, assuming a three to 4% salary increase every year, I calculated that it would take me about 10 to 13 years to make a six figure income, which isn't bad for somebody who grew up in a low income household, making $100,000 in my 30s seemed like a dream come true. However, little did I know that the engineering field does not necessarily work like that at all. So when I entered the engineering field, instead of my income looking like I had predicted, it instead looked something more like this. Making me a six figure earner my first full year of working as an engineer at 24 years old. Now, if you're wondering what happened here, well, that's a topic for another video, so stay tuned. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how I built a six figure income with engineering and how you can do it too. So let's start with the career. The first thing that you have to do is to decide to major in an engineering field. If you go online and look at the average salaries for different careers, you will see that most engineering careers in the United States have an average of above $100,000, making it a relatively straightforward path to follow. In my case, that's exactly what I did. And if you're wondering which engineering field to pursue, just think about what interests you. I'm a believer that if you work on something you enjoy, you will end up working harder and do better work than someone who doesn't enjoy it. So if you like computers, pick computer engineering. If you like cars, pick mechanical, etc. Don't worry so much about the pay and job opportunities. If you're good and passionate about your work, there will be a job for you. The next thing to do is keep in mind how to get your foot on the door. And in the engineering world, the ticket is your resume and an interview. So let's tackle the resume first, and then we'll discuss the interview. In order to get noticed by recruiters, what you need to do is build a good resume. And if you're interested, I actually have a video on that, link below. So to do that, you need to know what's attractive to the viewer. So the first qualification every recruiter will look at is your GPA. So while you're in college, focus on getting good grades and try to maintain a GPA above 3.5 or at the very minimum above a 3.0. Try not to fall below a 3.0 because that's where many companies will automatically disqualify you. I know it may seem harsh, but that's just what most companies have adopted. So try very, very hard to at least maintain that. Next qualification recruiters look at is the skills and tools that you have learned. And no, time management and collaboration don't count. Those are already expected of you, so don't list them. Instead, mention skills such as learning software via the use of programming, or learning how to use tools such as an oscilloscope to analyze a signal in time domain. Those are the skills and tools that recruiters will look at. And the easiest way to show these skills is via the use of school projects and personal projects. So list your projects as experience and describe what tools you used and what skills you picked up while doing them. These are important because a lot of the skills and tools you learn in your engineering studies are the same ones used in the industry. A good example in electrical engineering include the C programming language, instrumentation, soldering, and software suites like MATLAB. So keep an eye out for these skills when you're working on your engineering degree. So now that you have built an attractive resume, the next thing to do is tackle the interview. And to do this, you need to work on two aspects of your life, your social skills and your presentation skills. Social skills are important because they will allow you to engage in a conversation with a recruiter or the hiring manager. Since they already know what skills you acquired by looking at your resume, the next thing people want to see is that you can communicate properly. The reason this is important is because a lot of the jobs require you to engage with customers or professionals of other careers. So recruiters like to see that there is a human aspect to you. So talk to your professors, talk to your classmates, and don't forget to attend social events at your university. The next, but equally important, is your presentation. In a way, this one's related to the previous, however, this is more about how you present yourself and present your ideas. Most interviews will expect you to be professionally dressed and hygienic, so make sure that you invest in a nice suit and buy some nice shoes. Yes, it might seem silly, but this is important, trust me. In addition, in some interviews, a hiring manager might require you to put together some slides 
to present the projects that you have worked on. The goal is to gauge how well you can present data and how you organize slides and pictures. The reason why this is important is because oftentimes presentations are to non-engineers and slides must be presented in a way where the data is easier to understand by people who have no idea what the actual engineering work is. So just make sure you keep that in mind. All this will help you break into the engineering field. Now the next portion is for when you actually start working on the field. And this is what will determine whether you will exponentially increase your income or follow a more linear increase. And this is your work ethic. Once you start working, you will realize that you have two paths to follow. Either you can just be a number in your company or you can stand out. And you will realize that this is going to be up to you. But if you want to make six figures early in your career, you definitely need to stand out. I will make a video talking about my experience with this choice, but all I can say right now is that it's related to my income dropping at the beginning of the video. So in order to build a six figure income, what you need to do is outwork your peers. So normally a company will have a certain expectation of you. So what you need to do is exceed those expectations by going above and beyond the work. This will allow you to get noticed and will make it easier for your company to give you the good races and promotions. And if you logically think about it, it makes sense. Why would a company not want to invest in a person who is at work in their peers? So this will make your company give you good races and try to keep you happy. Which kind of brings me to my next point. If you know you are outworking your peers, don't be scared to ask for more during your reviews. A company will attempt to keep you happy with the least amount of pay possible. That's just a fact. So if you're unhappy with your pay, just ask for more. If you know you are working harder than everyone else and you can show for it, then there's no reason why your job would decline you the race. Finally, don't be scared to leave. If you're working harder than your peers and you know you are not being compensated fairly, then look for a new job. As a matter of fact, it's been proven that the fastest way to build a high income is to switch jobs. However, I don't really condone that as I believe that if you work hard and you're loyal, your company will value you and there shouldn't be a reason for you not to get the raise you deserve. Of course, whether you deserve it is a matter of perspective, so just keep that in mind. And in my case, that's exactly what I did. I first got my engineering degree, I graduated with the honors, then I landed a job by working on my resume and interpersonal skills. I then outworked my peers by working weekends after hours, picked up the skills people didn't want to learn, and I did everything in my power to meet deadlines. This allowed people to notice my work ethic, which caused my income to increase relatively fast, allowing me to reach a six-figure income in one year. So if that's your goal, just follow these tips. Stay above a 3.0, 3.5 if possible. Develop an amazing resume. Practice interviews and outwork your peers. And that's it. That's the secret. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully these tips can help some of you out in your future careers. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos.